Welcome to In The Box Seat. I'm Ray Fewings, and of course it's the big week for the Greyhound Racing Board with the 40th Adelaide Cup, the Triple M Adelaide Cup getting underway on Thursday night. And what a great a lot of heats we had. Seven heats, Cape Hawk was the fastest, but we certainly had some great performances. Alan Harper, Radley Bale, and of course... Uh, the great uh, bitch Mapunga Nikki also continuing her great winning streak. It'll be a fantastic race and uh, we'll uh, have a look at that with Sean Matheson, the operations manager for Greyhound Racing SA. He's our special guest on In The Box Seat this week. As far as what's happening, uh, apart from the Triple M Adelaide Cup, and there's a great staying race on as well, the Premier's Cup is also on Calden Mayhem, opposed by two or three Victorians. But we've got at Albion Park the uh, Rover Mowers Cup at Mandurah. The uh, Mandurah Cup continues there. And, of course, the Sydney Cup is also uh, concluding on October the 15th in Sydney. Now, don't forget the chasers facing the crowd. If you are at the Adelaide Cup or if you're dining there at any other time, you should go to the grsa.com.au website and check to see if your face comes up on Chase's face in the crowd. If it does, then it's dinner for two on us. $59 uh, dinner and you can come back to Chase's and have another great night at the Greyhound. As far as what's on in South Australia this week, well, all roads lead to Angle Park on Thursday night. Sky Channel will make a very special presentation. Hilton Donaldson's coming down do all the interviews, and it'll be a great night. You need to be here, and it'll be a 12-race program as well. Let's try and find some winners for the week. On Wednesday, the Honeys have gone for race six, number three, Aston Usain. Uh, one here, three starts back in 30 and 13. Uh, he took on the Adelaide Cup runners and probably was flying a little high there. But uh, this will be more to his liking, and he should win easily. And they've gone for race seven, number two, Long Gully Arch. I think this is a special as well. It's one of my good things for the day on Wednesday. It's up against Bobby Rocks, who has been a runaway winner at his last two runs over the journey. But Long Gully Arch is on a winning streak, and I think he's a bit more reliable, and he'll overpower Bobby Rocks at the finish. So I agree with the Honeys on that one. As far as Angle Park on Triple M Adelaide Cup night, race five, number two, top fantasy. He broke through for a very well-deserved win last start. He'd run a streak of minor placings, and things fell into place. Now that he's learned how to win again, he may well go on with the job. And the Honeys say in race six, the consolation, number seven, Alan Lawson. Ran second behind the kennel mate Radley Bale last start. Slow to begin, powered home, and the Honeys think he can win the consolation. Their first four, race five, two, three, five, and six. And in race six, seven, four, two, and six. Now the in-the-box seat tip for the cup, is in the big one, race eight, number seven, Cape Hawk. Of course, 29.33, champion dog's time. He uh, started off as a puppy here in the champion puppy. He uh, went amiss after that. They gave him a good spell, brought him back, and, of course, he recently smashed the sound down record, only to have uh, Beck and Bale run over the top of him and reset a new record. But Cape Hawk is a great dog of the future, and he is the in-the-box seat tip for the Adelaide Cup. As far as my specials for the week are concerned, uh, race three on Wednesday, number three, Mojito Hanito. All right, it's the purse destroyer. We've all got patches in our tyres backing it, but this is the right race for it. It's been freshened up, and it, if it can't win this, then uh, it's curtains for Mojito Hanito as far as uh, a punting proposition. But it will win on Wednesday. And the other one is race seven, number two, Long Gully Arch. I think it can beat Bobby Rocks. Now, on Thursday night... Uh, in uh, race six, the consolation, I like Calden Aurora. I think it was a certainly beaten in the Adelaide Cup heat behind Weekend Rush. It was strange to the track. It was caught off the track two or three times, got checked in the home straight, was flying home at the finish. And I think Calden Aurora is a special on Thursday night. And as far as the Cup is concerned, I'm going for Radley Bale. Race eight, number two, Radley Bale. 29.50, burst from the boxes on uh, Thursday night last I think we'll get first use of the rail and will be the hard dog to beat in the cup. Very shortly, we'll see what Sean Matheson has to say about a fantastic night of greyhound racing on Triple M Adelaide Cup night. Well, as promised, our guest on In The Box Seat is the Operations Manager for Greyhound Racing SA, Sean Matheson. Looking forward to what should be the culmination of a great 
Triple M 40th Adelaide Cup. Welcome, Sean. Thanks, Ray. Thanks for having us. Now, how are things going? I believe bookings have been sensational. The uh, the restaurant's already booked out. Yeah, the restaurant's already booked out. Um, expecting over 500 at least in the restaurant. Plus, all people can uh, just walk into the venue and all of that. So, uh, But for those people who want to get a meal or that, plenty of food downstairs. Um, should be a terrific night. The weather should be good. Mm -hmm. um, expecting about 22. So everything looking good towards Thursday night. And are we geared for the whole family? You bring the kids? Uh, are there any rides? Are there any uh, other features here? Yeah, definitely. There'll be rides for the kids, uh, face painting, all the normal stuff. Um, a real family atmosp atmosphere. Um, there'll be the honeys. There'll also be uh, autism angels who'll be getting out and about, which are, mm -hmm. are models who uh, promote autism. So uh, really uh, going to be a really great night. Get the whole family out. Obviously, from a, a racing point of view and from a, a punting point of view, the racing is going to be fantastic on the track. So Now, there are 12 races, so what time's the first? Uh, the first star will be 6.41, mm -hmm. uh, 12 races. Uh, we'll have the uh, Premier's Cup as one of the main features about race four. Uh, the consolation of the Cup will be race six. And the big one, uh, the 40th running of the Triple M Adelaide Cup, 9.25, race eight on the card. Should be an absolute beauty. And it's a great field and the box draw certainly made it more even. What's the market uh, for the Cup uh, at this stage? Yeah, well, Peter Damarell, uh, leading local bookmaker, Ray, he's provided a market for us. He's got the favourite as Cape Hawk, $3.50 favourite, mm -hmm. uh, just ahead of Radley Bale at $3.60. Uh, both of those were super impressive yeah. uh, on uh, Thursday night in the heats. Uh, then out to Mapunga Nikki at $4.00, uh, Alan Harper $4.60. Getting a bit wider, then we go to Alan Hurt $7.00, uh, Clyde's Angel $13.00. 21 for Weekend Rush, and the outside of the South Aussie Ray, uh, $31 out of the red, though. So yeah. still a good chance. She's been a big improver, Crazy Heart, uh, but it's certainly the first time she's had a crack at this sort of company. But you never know, a bit of luck on the first turn, we could get into the maybe the minor money. Absolutely, yeah. I think um, Box 1 certainly helps her. I mean, um, all heat winners, obviously there were seven heat winners and uh, second place getter Clyde's Angel who progressed through. But, you know, to win a heat of the Adelaide Cup, they've got to be doing something right. And she's in there with a live chance. Good thing about her too, Crazy Heart. Lately she's been staying on the inside. She used to run off on the first turn, but she's learned to hug the rail and they'll hold her down. Now, my tip is Radley Bale. Mm -hmm. uh, they said he likes it out wide, but he boxed very well the other day, the other night from three. He's drawn two. I think he can head Crazy Heart. Uh, he's obviously one of the, the real chances. He is. He is. From the powerful Graham Bait Kennel, Ray. Uh, box two. I think a lot of people are the same opinion of yourself that his speed, he might be able to find the rails first. Mm -hmm. There is plenty of speed out wide, yeah. but in big races, if you can be in front on that first turn, it's a huge advantage. Mm. Number three is Clyde's Angel. Now, I watched her closely last week from the Kel Greeno kennel, and she just stood there a little bit at the start, but as soon as she hit the ground, she went whoosh. Uh, if she happened to go with the lids and get out quick, she could be one of the leaders too. Yeah, I like Clyde's Angel. as a, a good each-way chance. Kel Greeno, he knows what it takes to win an Adelaide Cup. Hotline hero. He uh, took out one here a few years ago. Mm -hmm. um, master trainer. Clyde's Angel a few starts ago from box three, around 29.50 at Sandown, beating Henry Walt. So I do think she's a live chance. I mean, she obviously has to get a, a bit of luck in running. But uh, from box three, yeah, it could be a good chance. Yeah, with a fast start. Now, Weekend Rush uh, showed the benefit of a trial when uh, he knew the track here last week and railed up on them to win his heat. And he's trained by a former South Australian. Yeah, um, out of the four for Justin Illman, uh, expat South Aussie. So obviously if he, he gets the big prize, we'll be claiming him as a South Aussie <laughs> yeah. through and through. Uh, does his training in Victoria. Yeah, weekend rush, 29-6 uh, last week in the heats. Uh, ran home really well, one of the fastest run home times of the finalists. So he'll need luck early to get a spot. But, I mean, he could run into a place, absolutely. Mm. Alan Hertz uh, from the uh, Bait Kennel loves the inside. Uh, drawn a little awkwardly. Can he get over maybe into a, a spot early? Yeah, I think that's what he'll be hoping for with Alan Hertz. Get a position early. Uh, was a really nice heat winner last week, mm. uh, running 29.5. Coming off a third placing in the Group 1 Pools of Thunder. So mm. knows how to, to compete at Group 1 level. And so of course he was in the Nationals as well. Uh, absolutely, yeah. Mm. So he's got a good chance. Again, from the bait kennel, you certainly, you've certainly got to um, respect anything with G-Bait uh, in his kennel, absolutely. Yeah, he gets him right for the final. I think most people were taken aback by Alan Harper. Um, 
who won his heat in 29-4 and uh, came home in, in brilliant time uh, last Thursday night. Uh, caught me off guard a bit. He's only lightly raced, but he's won 13 out of 18. Maybe he's the, the sleeping giant. I think he could be. I mean, out of box six, he showed he's got really good speed early. So mm. the box won't worry him. From a bit wider on the track, he should get a nice run across. Um, he, he did win the Peter Mossman at Wentworth Park, which is mm. group one level. Yeah. Um, so he's a real up-and-comer and, and could be the real the dog that could really take the next step out of the Adelaide Cup. The Adelaide Cup always tends to be a, a good race for those yeah. dogs coming through. Good springboard for dogs of the future. Yeah. He could be the next one, absolutely. Mm. His run home time the other night was brilliant. And then we've got Cape Hawk. Well, just how good is Cape Hawk? I mean, he broke the, that long-standing record at Sandown and since had that taken off him, but the way he went 29-33 here, clean start, he just might leave them standing. Yeah, I think so. Plenty of ability. Uh, we did see Cape Hawk here some time ago. Mm. Uh, what well, obviously wasn't at, at his best and certainly has improved. The time he ran in the heats to be the fastest qualifier of 29.33. I went back through the records, Ray. Mm. Um, the last time a dog went as quick as, that, quick as that was Big Time Max in the 2007 Adelaide Cup final. Mm. So um, he's got the speed and uh, just a little bit of luck again. Um, he's a good chance, but plenty of ability, Cape Hawk. And out of the pink, we've got the uh, the youngest greyhound, Mapunga Nikki, who's on a real uh, winning streak at the moment. She's won Oaks in uh, in three places. Uh, runs terrific sectionals to the back, and uh, sectionals say she's just about got to be one of the leaders. Oh, she's very exciting from uh, Jeff uh, from the Jeff Britton Kennel. Uh, Looking for a second group race here at Angle Park. Took out their Coffex Coffee Oaks uh, two starts ago. Uh, she's brilliant early. I think a lot of people think from box eight, she's going to cause a bit of damage, though, with her early speed mm -hmm. getting across. But in a high-quality field like this, they're all probably going to begin. But, but she has the speed to be in front early. So uh, without doubt, uh, if she can be in front off the back, she's going to take some running down. Yeah, but she's, uh, she's not a weakie. She's pretty strong. It's a fantastic field. The sectionals, they'll run home in about 12 and a half, 12, 6. So uh, it's, uh, it should be a race in which they're flying at the finish. What are you going for? I'm a Radley Bale man. Yeah, I must admit, Ray, I, uh, after the box draw came out, um, looking at the way he went in his heat and knowing the quality of the greyhound, I'm also on Radley Bale. I think Mapunga Nikki uh, can get across and, and hang on for second. Mm -hmm. And I like Clyde's Angel to, to fill that third spot. Bit of value in the trifectas. It's going to be a terrific race. Really looking forward to it Thursday night. And yourself, Ray, Radley Bale on top for you. Yeah, I think Radley Bale, and I'm putting in Alan Harper as the giant killer uh, with that big, powerful finish. Maybe uh, if there's uh, luck in running and he gets a crack at him, he might be too strong at the finish. But should be a great race. Cape Hawk, I think, is the champion of the future. Just a little awkwardly drawn out there in seven. It's going to be a fantastic night. It and uh, the gates uh, open uh, nice and early. And Gates, gates open at uh, 5 o'clock. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, sorry, gates open at 5.30. 5, 5 o'clock, 5.30. So be here nice and early. There'll be a packed crowd, so probably best to get here early. Get uh, a good spot. Get a good spot. $10 uh, for adults. Um, uh, pension is $5. Kids are free. So, you know, get down. Great family night. Should be a great night on the track and off the track. Thanks very much, Sean. Thanks, Ray. Well, Sean Matheson, the operations manager, giving us every reason to be at Angle Park on Thursday night for the Triple M Adelaide Cup. 10 bucks. That's a bargain, isn't it? Considering it was 30 bucks for the grand final at uh, the footy the other day in Adelaide. So the best value in town. See you on Thursday night.